Whoever said that an elimination diet was hard has never tried a real fat good smoothie bowl. Oh my god, it's going over the edge. I like heaped it up, but now it's like definitely like I'm licking it off my fingers now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different than my booktube origins. Well, I'm talking to you about my elimination diet. If you guys don't know what an elimination diet is, you eliminate whichever foods you think might be like you have intolerance to for 21 days and then after that you slowly reintroduce these foods to see which ones cause you triggers and everything like that. The way that I did it was 21 days I eliminated the food and then every like three days after that I reintroduced something else so like to give you an idea I started with gluten and then like for three days I like waited to see how my body was and everything like that and then I would reintroduce dairy and waited to see how my body was and then like that was how that was how it went. So over this past, I believe, like a month and a little bit, that's how it like equates to. I was able to film everything, and so you will see it in this like vlog style sort of elimination diet video how my experience went and everything like that. So I just wanted to start out and say that first and foremost, my elimination diet is not like a diet. I didn't do it because I wanted to like lose weight or anything like that. It was just simply the fact that I have eczema, I have asthma, I have so many things that have always just kind of like pushed away. I have asthma so I take a puffer. It's just kind of like things that I was really ignoring and just kind of like numbing whatever was going on. If I had an eczema flare-up I would put hydrocorzine on it where I never really stopped to think like what if what is flaring up my eczema is something in my food because there's so much more research coming out that like food is such a big trigger to a lot of these things. I really found it was a good idea that I really like implemented an elimination diet just to kind of see what was making my body not so happy. Uh, I got the idea when I was in Florida and had a terrible allergic reaction to, like, I don't even know what. That's the fun of allergic reactions. You never really know what you're allergic to. So uh, after my allergic reaction, I had terrible eczema. My eyes were really puffy. Um, and so I decided when I got back home that I would start my elimination diet. So the foods that I decided to eliminate, which you'll hear me say a lot in the vlogs, is gluten, dairy, soy, and tree nuts. I feel like there's something else. But that's what I have. I did a research before I did the elimination diet. Obviously, I would recommend if you are thinking about doing the elimination diet to do your research just because it is one of those things that like it's different for everyone and the trigger foods for everyone might not be the trigger foods for like certain people and that's actually the point of the elimination diet is seeing what your trigger foods are obviously. But I did the research and figuring out which ones were common for eczema and asthma and of course like gluten and dairy were like the two main ones that came across like on different variant sites. Soy was up there too, especially being a woman. I know soy is not the best thing for like every single woman out there. And then tree nuts was something that really kind of caused eczema too, so I threw that in there. So I'm currently on day five of my elimination diet. I didn't want to like talk to you guys before I knew that I, I had one, had like a steady routine, and two, knew for sure that there was without a doubt that I was like not breaking from this challenge. My eyes look so blue right now. Uh, but I definitely 100% like, do, I do not feel like I'm breaking. The thing about being on this elimination diet is that when I'm like even considering, like my friends were over and they had like sweet chili heat Doritos and I was like, that smells so good. When I'm even considering like, like giving in, I'm like, well, I need to start back at day one. Like sure it's been five days, but like I need to start back at day one anytime I give in to like these or else I'm not gonna get the accurate results that I want to whenever I'm done the end of my 21 days and then reintroducing these foods and seeing what like upsets my stomach or anything like that. So though in the moment eating something with soybean oil in it, which is what the sweet chili heat had, um, they're also vegan though. So like if, if I didn't have to like cut out soy, I could totally have them. Uh, because there's like no dairy and then obviously they're gluten-free because they're corn chips just so you know just so I'm informing you So the one thing I've noticed about being on this elimination diet is that because I'm just like literally feeding myself Like whole foods is that like I feel more energized. I have so much more energy like I feel more awake It's only been five days and I'm already like in a good headspace. I'm mentally clearer after I eat I don't want to die like you know when you just like eat McDonald's and all of a sudden your stomach's like, why did you do that? Where now, like, I just ate lunch five minutes ago. Um, I had spinach and mushrooms cooked, sauteed, and eggs and a little thing of raspberries. Uh, it's very, like, whole foodsy. Um, 
and like no way whatsoever did I feel like I was like gonna crack or anything like that but I just feel like so like like I don't feel bloated um I'm on my period so I feel like obviously a little bit of bloating but not in this way that like it was like five days ago kind of thing. The only like thing I'm being challenged with right now is that my friends all want to go out to this like chocolate thing for brunch and it's literally called like chocolate in French. Um, but I, oh my hand's getting tired. <laughs> um, I don't, like I actually emailed the people ahead of time being like, hey, these are my like allergy restrictions. What do you guys recommend? Like it's a chocolate place, but like I know they have fruit fondue. Can I have fruit? Does your chocolate have like dark enough chocolate that I can have? Is it dairy free by chance? Do you have that option? Um, I think I'd rather be that guy over email since like one, it's not face to face. I don't need to be awkward than to be that guy over like in person where I'm like, hey, can you like modify my meal like this and this? Not that I really mind being that kind of person. I've never been like that sort of shy, but it's just like so much easier for like everyone involved if I like email ahead in advance and my friends are being super awesome about it too they're like Michelle we don't need to go to this place like we can pick somewhere else don't feel like like don't feel like you can't eat I know that there's a vegan place like two doors down I'm literally like if you guys want this chocolate then like I, I understand I love chocolate um so like I'll just run and get something to go with you guys like go do your thing or like I'll run in after like it's really not that big of a deal but either way, I have to say it's going over really well. I'll keep you guys updated. Over the 21 days, I have to say it was a lot easier to eliminate these foods than I thought it was going to be. I really expected myself to be like, oh my god, like, I can't have pizza, I can't do this, I can't do that. But I did such, like, I planned really well for this and I, like, made my grocery lists and everything like that, that, like, when it came down to actually doing it, that it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. A way that I was able to do it was meal prepping. I made my dinners for like three days in advance just because I'm not vegetarian so meat does go bad after like three days and stuff like that. I made my meal preps, I like really looked at the ingredients when I was grocery shopping and spent a lot of time like researching beforehand. I Pinterested, I had a little Pinterest board of what I was going to be eating that week um, and a lot of these things that I did during my elimination diet are totally things I implement now that I've done it just because it made life so much easier to be like what am I eating this week what like nutritional benefits am I getting from it so a lot of the elimination diet was simply eating whole foods that you knew what process they went through and everything like that if you look at a bag of cookies you're gonna be like oh my god there's so many different ingredients of this what one might contain soy or stuff like that um, where like obviously it's listed and everything like that but if you grab a carrot like there's no ingredients on a carrot a carrot is a carrot so if you're just cooking that then like it's so much easier to like for me to have ate all these whole foods and for me to have like found these like little variances that I could eat so the cool thing is that I have an abundance of resources I have two health food stores in my like really small town where I live in preschool and then I have um, like even more health food stores in like the big town that's around, like that's the best drive away. But I was able to find some awesome things. Like I found some nut, dairy, and soy free chocolate chips. So I've just been eating these. I haven't been like putting them in any recipes like I should. I've just literally been eating them. I find so many granola bars, especially from the brand Made Good, um, that I can eat a lot of just like whole ingredients and stuff like that. Um, and then for the most part, I find I eat, like, that's not my peanut butter. <laughs> I was able to go out and find, like, things that were, like, soy-free, dairy-free, like, tree nut-free and everything like that. Um, especially because they're pretty common allergies. There would be, like, specific food of what I was able to eat. So I found that that really saved me, except for, especially, like, craving-wise. If I was ever craving, like, actual chocolate, well, there's, like, dairy-free and whatever-free chocolate. So it's really nice to know that there's an abundance of alternatives. My eczema is acting up right now. Can you tell that I might have had dairy? So I found it to be a lot easier than I planned it to be. Obviously was able to like read the ingredients and everything like that. The thing that I found the hardest though was obviously eating out at restaurants. The thing that was the hardest was going out especially with friends and my friends were there like getting pizza and I was there like hey can you tell me what like oil your uh, foods cooked in like I don't want to be that guy but I can't have soybean oil and stuff like that and it was a lot of like maybe emailing the restaurants beforehand if I knew we were going to a specific place or like ask being that guy and having to like ask the waiter like hey can I have this is that okay I'm about 10 days in now and I have to admit the one thing that gets me is when I go out uh, me and my friends have went 
out twice and that's when I ordered one I ordered a, uh, actually at both places I ordered a smoothie just because the smoothie is this the easiest meal for an elimination diet but the thing is is that at one place it was just like a smoothie made up of like oranges strawberries and raspberries or something like that like I couldn't get protein because all I had was whey protein so obviously like it's like it's nice obviously a smoothie is a smoothie and it tastes good but I would like to see protein so that like I know I can like be full and be like replenished actually especially after it was after like my workout like I really wanted protein but all they had was whey protein and obviously that is made from milk and then the other time I actually went to Jogo Juice in the mall and Jogo Juice is really awesome they had the option of vegan protein or whey protein so I was able to make sure it was vegan um, and then they even had this like rice wrap and it was so good, like it had like chicken um, and like celery carrots inside of like this rice paper wrap and they served it with this like sweet chili sauce and I googled on the internet, I'm like what's in sweet chili sauce, can I have this? Because if not, like it was like a pretty bland meal um, and I found out like it's normally just like ginger and like little spices and stuff like that which I, I'm going to try and recreate. Hopefully tonight that will be my little meal is my like rice paper sweet chili thing because it was so good. So though I'm scared of eating out because I'm on this elimination diet and I don't want to accidentally eat something that's going to like really upset my stomach for the first place or something that just ruins my diet, um, but it's nice to know that I can like be inspired by other places and not like, I don't know, it's nice to know I can eat outside of me cooking my little whole foods at home. Um, and speaking of whole foods, have you guys ever heard of Coconut Bliss? Because it's not a whole food but it is ice cream I can have that is dairy, soy, and obviously gluten-free. Um, and it was really good. I still have a pint left. But the way I see it is that I've been eating so healthily because of this that it's okay if I eat the goddamn coconut bliss. Really, like, I didn't go out of my way to eat out, which anything was opposite of a problem because then I was at home eating what I've already meal prepped and was, like, being really good to my body that way. Not that it was a bad thing to go out and have, like, fries cooked in canola oil because like those weren't what I was eliminating but like I mean it always is better to eat the better alternative. So at the end of the 21 days I then implemented the four foods back into my diet and I actually found this to be the harder part because I was like in my mind I was like well you're done your elimination diet like what are you doing but it's like no you have to like slowly reintroduce everything and you reintroduce one thing at a time which research like told me two different things kind of thing so it took me like talking to my sister and be like how do I do this but I would reintroduce gluten and then I wouldn't have gluten for like the rest of the time so I'd have it for those like I'd have it once and then the three days would go by and then I would have something else and not have gluten anymore kind of thing like that so I just went grocery shopping for my very first time since starting my elimination diet and I start reintroducing foods well, okay, I started last night, I'm not gonna lie, uh, by eating onion rings because the first food I am reintroducing is gluten. Uh, I had to like make the very big decision of which food I would like to introduce first. And I decided that out of the things that I missed the most out of like my list of gluten, dairy, soy, and tree nuts, I would say gluten is like up there. Obviously dairy will be the thing that I do next because I miss cheese and I miss bread. So uh, I did grocery shopping and it felt so weird to be in there and just like not feel <laughs> so restricted and like being like, oh my god, wait, I can like buy this now and like, I don't know, it felt wrong, it felt naughty <laughs> because it just like going in every single, um, going in every single week with the intention to be on my elimination diet and to, like stick with such a strict diet honestly was nice and I like loved grocery shopping and I loved cooking so much on my elimination diet that like part of me doesn't want to be finished it but the other part's like obviously I need to go through this shittiness that is figuring out what I'm actually allergic to so I'll show you what I bought got myself a thing of white bread I just got a little bit just in case I am allergic um, I'm gonna be reintroducing the foods over the next two to three days depending on like how evident the um, reactions are I had onion rings last night because it was a Super Bowl and I went out to a pub um, and obviously you're gonna get like something and yeah I could have just got fries but obviously I went for onion rings just because I was like okay hey, I'm gonna start reintroducing it and I'm not gonna lie I woke up with a lot of eczema like I mean you can't see it but like I woke up with like a pretty big rash on my face and like my eczema on my arms are a little bit bad so I'm worried that that is like a, that is the gluten um, I also had some tummy like hurting and things like that so I wouldn't be surprised if I am allergic to gluten I want to just buy like this thing of bread and like actually find out once and for all if I was allergic or not 
The nice thing is that I'll just be that friend who gives people bread if I am allergic to it and decide not to eat any more bread ever again. Uh, <laughs> I bought myself some chocolate milk for after the gluten. Um, I'm going to do dairy and then I bought feta because I still want to be healthy even though um, I'm reintroducing all these foods that generally like bread and cheese just aren't really healthy for you. So um, I bought like the healthy versions if you can call chocolate milk healthy. I bought pistachios, which is something I missed so much. Uh, they're on sale too, so it felt good to buy them. But I know that if I have a reaction to these, which I'm pretty sure I will, just because I'm pretty sure I was allergic to pistachios before I even started this, um, that I will just give them to my friends again. And then I already have peanut butter left over, so I'm gonna eat that. Um, and overall, it's just like little introductions. It's kind of crappy that I have to do it once at a time. One, because obviously I would just like to get it all over with if I reintroduced it once, instead of prolonging my suffering of if I eat something I'm allergic to, am I going to diarrhea? Am I gonna like eat a bagel in class and die after <laughs> leave class or something like that? Too much information. Um, yeah, but so it's kind of getting creative. Like I have my bread, um, but I can't have it with butter because that's dairy obviously and I'm not introducing that yet and I don't really want to like skew my results. So I got some balsamic vinaigrette and olive oil, which I believe I'm gonna like dip that in, be all Italian tonight. I might have vegan butter, but I think that might have soy in it. Oh, and as far as reintroducing soy, I have some little like soy pudding cups left in the fridge from when like soy was the only dairy alternative I knew of and like only had that. I found it was really hard to test my reactions. Uh, when I would have, especially like gluten or dairy, I would have it and then my stomach would be sore for maybe five minutes and that was it. Like my like eczema wasn't like flaring up immediately or anything like that. It was very, very hard to see which foods triggered me. And I just kind of felt like, well, am I even allergic to these foods? Did I spend this 21 days and like found out I was not allergic to like all of them on the list kind of thing. I found that after I was re-implementing these foods that like the period ended and then I was like, okay, let's try dairy again, that I had more of a realization and more of a reaction to it that I was like, okay, you know what? Like I am definitely allergic to dairy. It's not making me feel good. Like it was a bit more obvious afterwards than in my re-implementation stage. So it was kind of interesting to see that. So the results for me is that out of all the things that I tried, soy was the one that I had no reaction to whatsoever. Tree nut, surprisingly, was something I had the worst reaction to, like saying that it was harder for me to see a reaction. Tree nuts is something that was very easy for me to see a reaction, like I did just get sort of like itchy and just like, was not for me, which kind of sucks because I do love pistachios and stuff like that, but it's just one of those things that I know if I eat it, my body won't appreciate it. So one of those things that you gotta do just so that your body's happy. But I would recommend for everyone to do the elimination diet just for the fact that I had never felt like so clear-minded in my life. I was also admittedly at the same time working out like a, like a lot more than I usually would and stuff like that. It was January and everyone does love to work out in January. So like the result of me feeling clear and happier and just being in such a better mood was obviously also like a very like different lifestyle change. But I do attribute it a lot to the fact that I wasn't eating these foods that might have like clogged me up mentally or anything like that. It was very like cleansing, it made me feel really good and of course for that reason it's stuff that I'm gonna be implementing into like my everyday diet from now on. And I guess that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and if you guys do uh, plan to do an elimination diet, you should know that in no way I'm a doctor. This is just my experience and you should do your research first. I'm not a nutritionist. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video. If you liked this video, have a good one guys. Bye.